Hi there, Tammy Beard from Stampin' Savvy. Thanks for joining me. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here today to give you a sneak peek at a new suite that is coming in the Holiday 2018 catalog. It's called the Country Lane Suite. And if you are a fan of that country farmhouse look, if Fixer Upper was one of your favorite shows, if you like all things Magnolia, if you even know what I'm talking about, then you are really going to like this suite because it allows you to take that country look and bring it to your paper crafting projects. So let me show you the products that are in the suite. Let's start with the stamp set. It's called Country Home and it's a 14 piece photopolymer set. So it makes it really easy for your placement. And it's got these four great primary sentiments right here, as well as these line art images. So if you're a fan of coloring, whether it's with the Stampin' Blends, watercolor, um, watercolor pencils, whatever it might be, this is really going to be a fun set for you. One of the things that I really like about this set is I really feel like it's really versatile. It's not just um, a fall set. And here is, uh, here's why I think that. I I've shared in another video, simple masking techniques. So let me give you um, a couple of suggestions here, a couple ideas. So we have simply thankful for all the good things. Let's say that you wanted to just make that simply thankful. You could just, you know, mask that off. Um, you are the happy to my day. You could mask off that in the to my and just have happy day. And happy harvest blessings, you could have happy harvest. You could have harvest blessings. You could do both sides and just have harvest. Um, so grateful for someone like you in my life. I just love these sentiments. Um, you could just do so grateful. It's just a really nice mix um, of your block font and then this kind of scripty font. So very on trend with the fonts as well as just really... Um, great sentiments with, again, like I said, a lot of versatility. The other thing is that it's got this um, kind of like a label that you can put on the milk can um, as well as the pitcher. So you've got hello and joy, love and thanks. The happy also fits in there. You could also do the U in this and coordinate with, you know, have the U on the can and then do the R, the happy to my day you know, on a separate sentiment. So just a lot of things that you can do with this, a lot of versatility. You got this really cute accent stamp, and then the floral um, arrangement images here enter, um, you know, interwork between the two, between the milk can and the pitcher. So again, really a lot of versatility in this set. Really one of my favorites. I've really enjoyed working with this one. So the next thing I wanna share with you is the designer series paper. It's called Country Home, um, I'm sorry, Country Lane designer series paper. And you get 12 different patterns. Um, it's a double-sided 12 by 12 inch paper. So let me walk you through and show you each of the patterns. So now this one has the milk can with the pumpkins and then it's kind of a compilation between the two stamps, so to speak. So you've got mint macaron, blackberry bliss, old olive, crushed curry, and then um, early espresso. So in this pattern, all the colors in the set are here. And then on the back side, you've got just this really nice, neutral, blackberry bliss, West whisper white polka dot pattern. This one is, again, kind of similar to that one in that you've got kind of a mix of the two um, stamp set stamps that are in this set. And I'll show you, this. these two are in this image. Um, so, and again, you've got all the colors here in this one. So it gives you a lot of versatility as far as your card bases. Any of those six colors, is it six or seven colors would work with this. And then the back side has got this really fun crushed curry print. This one, one of my favorites, just a simple cotton print. So Whisper White, Early Espresso on the Mint Macaron. There's just a lot you can do with this. 
this almost stands alone. Um, and then this pattern here, the Blackberry Bliss, you could cut this apart into strips. You could cut the squares for accents. You could use this as a background. So a lot that you could do with this pattern as well. This one, again, this is one of my favorites. Really bold graphic design on this one. This one I think would be great as just one panel on a card base with a simple, you know, uh, early espresso banner, maybe a heat embossed white uh, sentiment, little ribbon, and you've got a simple and quick card. The designer paper does the work for you. Nice crosshatch pattern here with the Blackberry Bliss. This is just a really whimsical wood grain pattern in the early espresso. And then the back side has this fun kind of herringbone twill pattern um, with the stripes. So crushed curry and blackberry bliss with the whisper white on that one. Last two. Again, you've got a really good pattern for use for your fall cards here. And then on the back, you've got crushed curry, kind of a light and a dark crushed curry here. So what I like about the paper is that you've got a great mix of very large, bold graphic patterns, you know, like this one, this one, um, the two that we started off with, as well as great patterns, um, smaller patterns that are kind of more what I would consider neutrals for your backgrounds. So really great mix. So in the package, you get 12 sheets double-sided, so you get two of each of the pages that I have shown you. Next, they have introduced a new metallic paper called Galvanized Metallic, and it's different than our foil papers. This is more of a matte finish, almost a matte textured finish, where the other ones are more of a shiny, um, smooth finish. So this one really looks like galvanized metallic um, or galvanized metal. Really cool. It is double sided. It's the same on both sides, but let me show you why that is a benefit. They have introduced a new, um, a new embossing folder and it is called, let me find it here in my pile, it's called the Tin Tile Embossing Folder. And let me bring in a little piece that I did. So this is the galvanized metallic paper that I put into the embossing folder and I ran this through the Big Shop machine. Look at that incredible detail. Does that not remind you of the tin tile ceilings that you would find in old farmhouses? Absolutely incredible. Okay, now here is a full sheet. This was a shaded spruce. So that was a full card front that you can see. And then I took a sponge dauber in the shaded spruce, so same color, and I kind of rubbed it on a little bit to just highlight the raised areas on this half so you can kind of see if it stands out a little bit more there. But for the metallic paper, absolutely amazing. But the nice thing about having the paper double-sided is you can use the embossed side, the raised images, which are on this side, or flip it over, you can use the debossed side. So either one of them look incredible. And that's the nice thing about with the paper being double-sided is you can, you know, do your embossing and then decide which look that you prefer for your projects. Isn't that amazing? Absolutely love that. Tin tile embossing folder. That's a dynamic and it's a six by six. So you can get, you know, really large pieces out of, um, out of the embossing for this one. Now, one of the thing that I did is I took the, the milk can stamp here and I stamped that on to the, the galvanized metallic paper in the stays on ink. Now this one is just the plain stamped. This one I took the basic gray stamp and write marker and I just did a little shading along the edges. You can't use the stamping blend markers with stays on because they're both um, a solvent or alcohol based and so they'll dissolve each other. Think opposites attract. So the stamp and write markers did a great job of just adding just a little bit of shading there. So some simple fussy cutting 
and I'm going to put that on a card, maybe pop it up on a dimensional, and that looks like an authentic milk can, don't you think? Very, very cool. You do the same thing with the pitcher as well. So, next in line is we've got what they are calling the chicken wire elements, and it does look like chicken wire. It comes six to a package, and they come on a full sheet like this. This one was popped out. It's got a border around it, um, border for the packaging. So it's been popped out, and then I cut a piece off the end here to use as an accent on a card that I'm gonna show you here in just a minute. But great to be able to use, um, so that's a full card front. So you could use a full sheet as an accent, or like I said, you can cut it apart. And now it also comes double-sided. So it's a foil metallic on this side, but the back is whisper white. So what you can do is you can color this. So use your sponge doppers, your stampin' sponges, um, your sponge brayer, and you can color this so that it kind of provides just this graphic element as an accent that doesn't even necessarily have to be chicken wire. Is that not cool? Really, really fun. Okay, the next thing that we've got is some galvanized clips. And these are really fun. I like these for a few reasons. They have designed these with a really, really low profile. Can you see that? So they will go through the mail. It's a really tight fit. So they're practical. Um, you will put them on your projects, they will stay put. Um, I've actually used them for my office stuff in a couple of times and they hold really, really good. And then the way that they've designed it with that little clip right there, that fits a ribbon. So if you're one of my customers and you got your uh, holiday catalog, you got one of those clips. Um, I used it to attach uh, the August specials as well as my business card with a little bit of ribbon. So really just kind of fun, easy accent for your cards. And these come 24 to a package um, with, the f and then they're in this cute little, cute little packaging. There is also a 3 16 inch braided linen trim that was introduced with this suite. And I apologize, somehow I missed that in my pre-order. I got everything else, but I missed that one. But not to worry, it is going to show up um, in some cards here in just a little bit. Last thing I want to show you is the new Stampin' Blend markers that they have introduced. We've got some new colors coming. And the two that match this set, actually there's three that match the set that are coming, is they've introduced Blackberry Bliss and they have introduced Cajun Craze. So both of these match with the designer series paper and would be great for coloring these items right here, these stamped images. In addition to that, they are introducing Mango Melody. And if you will notice, Mango Melody is a really, really close um, color match to the Crushed Curry and goes perfectly with the Designer Series paper. And then the other markers that we've uh, already got available that match would be Mint Macaron, the Old Olive, the Smoky Slate, and I've also brought in the um, crumb cake for the cattails right here, or for any of your accents. You could do it even with your cotton and stuff too. So those all work great if you like the Stampin' Blends. Any of those Stampin' Blend markers would work. So let me show you a few things from the annual catalog that also work with this suite, because you might already have some of these items. So. I've been using this one a lot. This is the Nature's Twine that was part of the Nature's Poem set. Blackberry Bliss and Mint Macaron are in this suite. And then Grapefruit Grove is kind of like a lighter, softer version of the Cajun Craze. Those two um, coordinate really nicely. And then Crumb Cake is a really nice, versatile um, neutral that goes with everything, including this set. And these are great because they're real thick and so they're easy to take apart and fray um, they've got, you know, their cotton look, so it, it's got that same rustic feel, so I really like that. The burlap ribbon is a really nice rustic trim. If you've got that, it goes nicely. 
the linen thread, one of my all-time favorites. Again, a nice rustic trim. If you've got that, it goes really, really nicely. Um, any of those would work. So let me show you a few things that I have made with this set. So let me show you real quick. This is one that was on the blog on Monday. And this is not, um, obviously, the flowers were not from that stamp set. That was from the blended seasons set and that is just a reminder this is a limited edition item that is going to be disappearing after Friday August 31st is Friday last day to order that so that was that stamp set but that's the sentiment from the you are the happy to my day I absolutely love that sentiment so that's a gift card holder or for small gifts that again was on the blog on Monday if you didn't see that you can check that out let me bring in another card, which speaking of that limited edition bundle, this is going to be on the blog on Friday. Is that not just a sweet country card? This was using the stamp set and the stitched season framelits. So these framelits coordinate with that blended season stamp set. So that's available as a bundle with 10% off only until Friday. So I'm getting that last um, plug in there for you if you want that. So again, you're going to get the details on this one um, on Friday, but um, that's just a really fun way to use the stamps that was not using that milk can or the pitcher. I set it up like a window box on this one. This one, oh, I'll show you this one. This one I made, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet because when I got this done, I used this stamp in the center and then I took this stamp and I stamped on the sides and then I took the stitched season framelit and I cut it out and I did my coloring and I really wasn't I guess thinking about it but it actually looks like a Christmas set right so okay so there you go not necessarily fall but that would be great for Christmas so I kind of have a fall Christmas look here and then I did the happy harvest so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one do you like it? If you like it, tell me in your comments. Give me ideas. Okay, I'm going to bring in this little cutie. This is just a simple 3x3 three three with a 3x3 three three envelope um, for a gift enclosure. So I did a simple stamp in the Early Espresso, colored it with the watercolor pencils. That is the Nature's Twine in the Grapefruit Grove. Tied that on. That's the Designer Series paper, um, 2 and 3 quarters by 2 and 3 quarters simple stamp off the corner here and then I did the same enjoy stamp on the envelope that's also um, here again all of those were from this set and now I've got just a really cute sweet fall um, gift card to go with a gift last project I'm going to show you is the one featured on the blog today and it's this one right here this one was done with a pear pizzazz card base and then a pear pizzazz card layer. This was four inches by five and a quarter, and I ran this through the Big Shot machine through um, using that tin tile embossing folder. And then I just took the edges and I tore them to give it just a little bit more of a rustic look. And then I kind of curled up with my fingers the edges and I've glued that down. We have a new product coming um, in the fall catalog called Shimmer Paint and it's available in four different colors. And I use the frost white. I just put a little bit on a sponge dauber, and I don't know if you can see, but I took the raised spots, and in just a few spots, I added a little bit of that shimmer paint, and I really liked it. This is the, the milk can, and then one of those uh, floral images, it was stamped in the smoky slate, and it works with the Stampin' Blend markers because opposites attract, right? So any of your classic Stampin' Pads would work with your Stampin' Blend markers because the classic Stampin' Pads are dye-based or water-based. Um, so they will work with your alcohol-based Stampin' Blends markers. And then I brought in the Stampin' Blends that I've already shared with you, did my coloring, and just did a quick fussy cut. Didn't take very long. This is the designer series paper that I showed you earlier that was cut out with the uh, second to the largest stitched um, stitched layers uh, framelits set. 
That was stamped on Whisper White, and then that's the triple banner punch cut off on the ends. There is just that little piece of the um, chicken wire that I had showed you. The one that I showed you was missing. That's it right there. And that's, a, that's as easy as it is. To me, that's a wow card. But really, because of these great tools, because of the chicken wire elements and the embossing folder and the great designer paper, it really assembled very, very quickly. This didn't take me very long to do. Probably the longest thing was the coloring, and that was maybe five minutes. It really didn't take long. And then you see these little accents right here? That's again, that's that nature's twine. I just took them, um, that was actually the tails uh, that I cut off of a bow. I save all my scraps. And I just took it and attached it to the back side and I frayed it. Simple as that. So it kind of looks like that filler that you get in dried floral arrangements. Okay, or at least I think it does. So there's some inspiration for you to go with all of these great, great products. So these are going to be available on September 5th. I will put shopping links um, in both the YouTube description as well as on the blog, but you won't be able to actually use them until September 5th unless you're a demonstrator or you sign up before September 5th. Then you will have access um, in your starter kit to all of the items that I have shared with you today. So I hope that you have enjoyed this suite as much as I have. It really is one of my favorites. I do highly recommend it. Um, don't forget, it is still bonus days until Friday. So that means for every $50 in products that you spend in August, you're going to get a $5 off coupon to spend in September. If you like the suite and want to redeem your coupons towards that, just hold off on doing your order until September 5th. And then this suite, as well as everything in the holiday catalog, will be available for you to redeem those coupons. And you can do that through stampinsavvy.com. I've got shopping links there to make it easy for you. If this was helpful, you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and my blog. I appreciate any comments that you've got, feedback. I do love hearing from you. Thanks for taking the time with me today. I appreciate it. Until next time, bye-bye.